Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to our installment of Scott Selections here for Friday, August 26th. Before getting today's play of the day, quick recap of what happened yesterday. We had a nice winner in baseball with the Orioles team total over three and a half runs and minus 138 on Fox Bet. Wasn't easy. In fact, we actually got quite lucky. Baltimore scored two runs in the first inning, then did absolutely nothing for the next seven innings. They trailed three to two with two outs in the bottom of the ninth. Lazy fly ball to foul territory in left field. Should have been caught, but the White Sox outfielder dropped it. And then later on in the same at-bat, we had a game-tying home run. And Baltimore eventually scored the fourth run in extra innings as they won 4-3. to three. So, a bit lucky, but still a nice winner. I'll look for another winner here on Friday. And for today's play, they're going to stick with baseball. We'll get a matchup between the Angels and the Blue Jays taking place at around 7 p.m. Eastern time. And for this matchup, we like a plus money play here. We like Toronto, minus one and a half runs at plus 115 on FanDuel. Time recording of 2.15 a.m. Eastern time. Cumberton's why I like Toronto minus one and a half in this game. First reason, look at the recent form of both teams. Toronto has been really, really solid, and the Angels have been terrible. Toronto has won seven of its last eight games. They just finished a three-game road sweep against the Red Sox, while the Angels have been atrocious, losing six in a row. Got swept by Tampa Bay. They were struggling against Detroit. They've basically punted on the season, and as a result, I do think they're going to look pretty lifeless here in this road game against Toronto. But if you want to go through the actual pitching matchup for this game, you do have Detmers on the mound for the Angels. So far this season, pretty mediocre. He's had an up-and-down year, but his last two starts are not particularly good. Nine and one-third innings pitched, 5.79 ERA. Meanwhile, you have Mitch White on the mound for Toronto. Last two starts, he's been pretty good. Eight and two-thirds innings pitched, 2.08 ERA. So he's not really going much length but he's also managed to limit the damage. And if this game comes down to the bullpens, I definitely trust Toronto to break through against the Angels' bullpen because Los Angeles' bullpen is definitely not good. But to go through the home road splits as well, Toronto's been very good at home as the Blue Jays are 36-25 and 25 straight up at home, while the Angels are 26-37 and 37 straight up on the road. And to go through the head-to-head meetings, Toronto's owned this team so far this season as the Blue Jays are 4-0 straight up against the Angels, but you have one team that's actively trying because you have Toronto still competing for a playoff spot, technically competing for a division. I'm not sure how likely it is, but they're still playing for something. The Angels season ended a couple months ago, and to make matters worse, Walsh, who was one of their better power hitters in the lineup, is now out indefinitely, so the Angels should be even weaker offensively, but you have arguably an even pitching matchup, but based on the Angels on the road, especially offensively, who've been terrible all season long, The Angels are averaging just 3.42 runs per road game, which is the fourth fewest in the league. I don't trust a team that's actively punting the season. And Toronto, in front of the home crowd for the first time in about a week, because they did have a long road trip, I think comes out motivated. And I think they eventually find a way to win this game by at least two runs. But plus money, fading the Angels, I think is always going to be worth it. And I'm going to take it. Split it once again here for Friday, August 26th. is going to be on the Blue Jays minus one and a half at plus 115 on FanDuel. Bye, everyone.